This video will talk about analysis of variance, or what we call ANOVA. We'll talk about how we use ANOVA models to make inference between population means, how we can run an f-test with ANOVA to make conclusions about the inference between different population means, we'll talk about the ANOVA table, and we'll talk about how we can use residual plots to test the assumptions about an ANOVA model. So here's a useful explanation and a nice quote about experimentation. And so when we talk about ANOVA, we're talking about mostly looking at experiments and analyzing data from experiments. And so this uh, child psychology professor says that if you take a random 15-month-old, sit and watch them for 10 minutes, and count out how many experiments or how much thinking you see going on, it will post put most brilliant scientists to shame. And so it gets at this idea of thinking about the overwhelming number of experiments we might do. And so in analysis of variance, we're thinking about often using experiment data to say something about the differences across many populations. When we do this, uh, we are always talking about sampling variability as it relates to our data. We talked about running two sample t-tests, and those will compare the means of two different populations or the mean responses of two different things. But if we have an experiment, we often have more than just two sets of observations. Uh, and so we need a better way to account for all of the differences across uh, all of those different treatments. And so just some of the basics about ANOVA. First, there are a lot of practical ways that we do analysis of variance. And so the analysis of variance then is really going to be our engine to analyze these types of experiments. And it's funny, a lot of the analysis of variance procedures, a lot of the early literature, was done on agricultural data. What you're seeing here on the right is an example from potato yield measurements in response to different manure treatments. And so a lot of this work happened in England. And so a lot of it is uh, based and really was developed on agricultural trials. And so it's really fitting for a course like ours, uh, looking at agriculture and natural resources data, that we have a long history of uh, development in our discipline. And so the ANOVA question then is, do all of the different groups have the same population mean? And so you can imagine running an experiment with lots of different means for different groups. Do all of them have the same population mean? That's what an analysis of variance is going to allow us to do. And so the ANOVA then compares the variation due to specific sources with the variation among individuals that should be similar. And so we can also say that the purpose of the ANOVA is to assess whether the observed differences among sample means are statistically different. And so that's what we're going to be doing when we run analysis of variance. Now, a lot of this work was developed by R.A. Fisher. Uh, he was a, a, a one of the earlier statisticians and did a lot of his work in the early to mid 1950s. The first application of ANOVA was in 1921. He wrote several editions of this book, Statistical Methods for Research Workers, uh, in the beginning in the 1920s. And then a lot of these this work was the, uh, often uh, used in medicine and health in 1948. Now, it's a little bit difficult talking about Fisher. Uh, so Fisher was also very closely integrated into the field of eugenics. Uh, and talking about it today is really difficult um, because a lot of his ideas uh, were kind of used in a racist way. Uh, and it's difficult to talk about them, uh, but just to know that uh, there is this history with Fisher, uh, who developed a lot of these tools that we still use today for uh, statistical analysis, but he wasn't a great man. Uh, and there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of hardship in talking about some of his contributions to statistics.